Well, another rainy night coming up. Now the axis of heaviest moisture a little bit to our south tonight as our cold front has moved a little further east and you're going to see any lightning staying down in Florida and out over the ocean. But we will see some more moderate to occasionally heavy rain develop in our area as low pressure offshore strengthens as it gets ready to move to the northeast. We have seen some moderate to briefly heavy rain along the coastal counties recently. That has uh, taper down for the moment. Just a few pockets of lighter rain inland as we move into Savannah, Hilton Head. We see the rain tapering off for now for the most part. Heading further south, we also see some light to moderate rain around Darien and Townsend. That will continue to head up to the north. So more rain is on the way. Those of you not getting rain right now is definitely going to be raining more as we head through the night. Again, we have seen some heavier rain. Now we'll see more rain developing and moving across the area through the night. Periods of rain, possibly heavy at times. Through daybreak, we're likely to still have a little more rain left over, and then that'll push on out, and we'll try to get some sun out in the afternoon, although I think it may be until late afternoon when that happens. Definitely coming up on Thanksgiving Day. Rain totals, including what has already fallen today, are going to be heaviest along the coast, over an inch along the coastal counties. Not enough to cause any significant flooding concerns, but enough that when it is raining, there's obviously going to be ponding of water on the roads. So you want to allow some extra time to uh, reach your destination. As far as temperatures go, we are tracking cooler air coming in from the west. 60 right now in Savannah, 49 in Macon, and that cool air is going to continue to ooze in overnight. Our temperatures along the coast will be down closer to 50 by daybreak. We've got a gale warning in effect out over the water tonight and first thing tomorrow. Wind and seas kind of rough out there, gradually diminishing as we finish out the week. Now for tomorrow's forecast, we're going to start off around 50 with some rain early, but then as we head through the day, we'll have clouds lingering. We'll try to get some sun out in the afternoon. Might be hard to do that for a while, but we'll get up to about 56 degrees for your high. So it's going to be a chilly day out there. Then for Thanksgiving, we'll have a full day of sun and we'll get up to 60 degrees. Another cool day, but nice and sunny. Your Black Friday looking sunny as well. It's going to be cold in the morning, 36 degrees to start, 58 degrees during the afternoon. And then for the rest of the weekend, we are looking at sunshine as well. So a lot of sun is going to come out here as we go forward to the weekend. 62 Saturday, about Sunday up to 70 degrees. Here's your entire storm tracker seven day forecast. Well, actually, we'll show the pollen report first. Mole showing up as high, and that will continue to be the case with the recent moisture. All right, now your storm tracker seven day forecast has a lot of sun coming out beginning Thanksgiving Day, continuing all the way into the beginning of next week. And notice by early next week, your high temperatures are up into the low 70s. All right, keep it right here. We've got plenty more coming up for you after the break.